600 feet. The darkening journey down is met with sudden surprise. In landscape now nearly barren, an oasis for migrating deep sea fish. One thousand feet on the threshold of the least known region of the sea and the mysteries which have long intrigued man's imagination. In the mini-sub, at this depth, for me, it's like a slow-motion dream. Going down a cliff is like descending slowly a long, endless staircase without touching the stairs. Sand falls flow almost constantly down to the bottom of the canyon. The falls are created by tons of sand manufactured near the surface. We feel alien down here, but exhilarated, for we have embarked on the exploration of a new environment, which for many centuries, men have struggled to penetrate and understand. Local lobster divers have never descended at night because sharks are known to be nocturnal feeders and they fear the bull sharks would attack them. In our day and night surveillance of the caves, we swim toward one of the caverns where we saw a bull shark during the day. In the back of the cave, we discover a blue-jawed parrot fish, one of the largest we have ever seen. Cautiously, we continue our investigation. In another cave, a grouper retreats from our life. And now, not a shark, but our old friend, the sea turtle, emerges slowly with sleep-dulled eyes.
a returning diver shows in a way most natural to him. of the C.R.O. squids, a slippery, insinuating capability. I also remember one evening when Calypso stopped for an early night dive. The sea was smooth as a mirror, the moonless sky black. Suddenly, for miles around us, little creatures popped out of the sea and fell back with tiny splashes. They were all squids. For a few minutes, it looked and sounded like rain. There is so much mystery. We still do not know what kind of life our squids lead between birth and death. But this much we do know. In spite of the perils and hazards of the squid's life in the deep, the sea owls will return.
are from the surface beyond the reach of the sun. percent of marine snow they miss eventually settles on the sea floor.
They intuitively sense them. The shadowy presence of death.
Thank <laughs> you. 